Now, after an unexpected nine-month stay in space, NASA astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sunita Williams have finally returned to Earth. The SpaceX Crew Dragon spaceship splashed down off Florida's coast, concluding a mission that gripped global attention. Now, footage showed the spaceship streaking through the atmosphere before deploying parachutes for a soft splashdown off the coast of Tallahassee in Florida at about 5.57 p.m. local time. The SpaceX capsule was carrying NASA astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sunita Williams alongside fellow American Nick Haig and Russian cosmonaut Alexander Gorbunov. Veteran astronauts Wilmore and Williams had launched into space as Starliner's first crew in June for what was expected to be an eight-day test mission on the International Space Station. But issues with Starliner's propulsion system delayed their return culminating in NASA's decision to have them take a SpaceX craft back as part of NASA's Crew-9 astronaut rotation mission. Now, their return caps a protracted space mission that was fraught with uncertainty and technical troubles with the splashdown, a rare instance of NASA's contingency planning, and the latest failure of Boeing Starliner have been turned into a global spectacle. The astronauts had undocked from the orbiting laboratory of the ISS to embark on a 17-hour trip to Earth. The four-person crew re-entered Earth's atmosphere at around 5.45 p.m. ET using Earth's atmosphere and two sets of parachutes. The craft slowed its orbital speed of roughly 17,000 miles per hour to a soft 17 miles per hour at splashdown. Now out of Crew Dragon Freedom. Some smiles, thumbs up, and a wave. Residents of Sunita Williams' ancestral village in India were seen rejoicing at the astronauts' safe return to Earth. The daughter of our village is returning. We are very happy. We have lit a lamp for her and prayed to Goddess Dolomata. This time she got stuck for nine months and we were sad. But now she is on her way back to Earth. We are happy. Sunita visited this Dolomata temple twice earlier. The astronauts will now be flown to Houston where they will complete a 45-day rehabilitation program. Will Moore and Williams' 286-day stay exceeds the usual six-month ISS rotation. Now, it ranks sixth among U.S. records for a single mission duration, but the unexpected nature of their extended stay, initially without enough packed supplies, has drawn public interest. It also became a political lightning rod. President Donald Trump and his close advisor Elon Musk who leads SpaceX, have repeatedly alleged that former President Joe Biden abandoned the astronauts and refused an earlier rescue plan. Trump has also drawn attention for his remarks, referring to Williams as the woman with wild hair and speculating about the personal dynamic between the two astronauts.